Hi, I'm Megan Amram. I love science, but I also love looking good. I went to Harvard. Let's begin. Science. Ooh, sexy. Don't get sexy just science. Love it. Ooh, sexy. Today's experiment was so important to me that I got my nails done. I got them half price because some of the chemicals they used are not approved by the FDA anymore. Today, we are going to be making naked eggs. Naked eggs are eggs whose shells have been eaten away by vinegar so that you can see right through them. So all you're gonna need is some vinegar, a container, and a bunch of eggs. Now a very important step of this process is that you need to treat the eggs like your babies. And I don't mean metaphorically. These eggs are literally my babies. I've given them all names. I've claimed them as dependents on my tax returns. I've put them on my health insurance and no one can tell me differently. And if they do, I will not believe them, which is what makes me such a good scientist. There's Ariana, she's my firstborn. And then there's Chris Hemsworth Jr. and Liam Hemsworth Jr. Yes, those are the sons of the Hemsworth brothers and no, they do not mind that they're sharing a baby mama. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna take your egg, sorry, New acrylics. You're gonna take the egg. Oh. You can see what it looks like before you even start the experiment. <coughs> oh my god, my baby! No! Okay, well, it's okay. You can keep doing the experiment. So you're gonna take your egg that you want to be for your egg and oh no! You're okay. You're okay. This is a burner. At least I have you, Claire and Liam. You're so beautiful. Thank you. My babies! Oh. Oh. What happened? These were my babies and now they're dead. Well, let's try to take a break and maybe talk about gravitational yeah. waves. Sexy science. Kiara, thank you so much for being with me today. It's my pleasure. You're a postdoc at Caltech who works on gravitational waves and pulsars. What does a gravitational wave look like? Does it look like cellulite? Sort of, actually. If you have gravitational waves from, say, supermassive black holes that are yes. merging, they make these ripples in the fabric of space-time. And if they're coming from everywhere, it makes like a standing wave pattern, like on the surface of the ocean. What does a big, supermassive black hole look like? The weird thing about black holes is that you can't actually see them. They have an escape velocity, yeah. which is the speed of light. So that's around 670 million miles per hour. And so they're not really black and they're not really holes. Oh my God. Yeah, You're I the Marie Curie Fellow in Gravitational Wave Astrophysics at Caltech. It seems a little sexist to me that they call them fellows. Uh, it's more like a fellowship of the ring kind of fellow as oh, in we're all part of oh a my club. Because I'm like a real nerd and I love the Ring Lord trilogy. Which is the hotter star, Brad Pitt or a pulsar? Pulsars are really neat, because like this egg. Janelle. So imagine if Janelle yeah. were spinning like this, Aww. and then Janelle had a magnetic field, then the magnetic field would like come out like a stray hair, and then as it rotates, we get little flashes of radio waves. They would go like tick, 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 tick. They'll tick like a thousand times in a second. Kind of like Lady thing. Gaga. Exactly. Are black holes slimming? There's actually two ways that you can look thin close to a black hole. So there's the spaghettification. So your body would be pulled out into like all of its component particles, like yeah. protons and neutrons and electrons. But there's also the fact that if the black hole is orbiting another black hole or something that's really heavy, yeah, then boring. they would start circling and emitting gravitational waves. And these stretch and squash space time. So then you'd look like a supermodel when you were stretched up, but then like a sumo wrestler when you were stretched the other Way. I like almost think it would be worth it. It would look horrific. Now, this is something that's been a big scientific debate for a long time. Are men from Mars women from Venus? No, that's a myth. You should probably but... write a paper about that because I've been basing most of my life off of that. Mars would be a terrible place to live. You would get ionized by these really harsh yeah. rays from the sun. Like Pittsburgh. <laughs> It's not a laughing matter. They suck there. Have you ever used a telescope from your lab to spy on a Hollywood celebrity? You can't really see black holes with telescopes because yeah. they're they're dark. Um, but sometimes... You might have the lens cap on. Yeah, 
And it's really important to get that off. Yes. Number one rule of science, take off the lens cap. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Kiara. You're You've welcome. been so fantastic. And thank you. This has been Experimenting with Megan Aram, and you're all my babies. Until next time, remember, I went to Harvard. Janelle, you're going in my drink. Science. Ooh, sexy. Thank you for watching Experimenting with Megan Amram. To watch more, click my gimlet. To subscribe to Smart Girls, click my mimosa. Mm. Mm. Internet. Come here. Come on. Mm. Oh, yeah. Comments. I wish these drinks were closer to my face. Click them, won't you? Oh my god, I'm feeling a buzz. I'm such a lightweight. Mm. I'm gonna text my ex.